Uh, hello, everyone. This is Paul Stacey, uh, the Executive Director of Open Education Global. Thanks so much for joining us for this closing session to what has been just an amazing week. Um, I thought I'd, as part of this closing session, just provide uh, some thanks and also a bit of looking at what took place this week and also looking ahead. Um, but first to the thanks, uh, I just want to make sure everyone uh, joins me in expressing appreciation to Marion for the incredible work that she did as our host at Taipei Medical University. Uh, yeah, really great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marion. This year has been such a, tr a strange year and I really feel like uh, this was a whole surprise. This is not the kind of conference that you were hoping we would do, uh, but it's been fantastic to have your support. And I really feel like you and your team really uh, helped us uh, make this event a success. So a uh, huge appreciation from me and from all of OE Global for the support that you and your team provided. Thanks so much. And the same goes for our co-hosts, uh, um, Lena and eCampus Ontario, uh, and the large tech support team that was provided there to help support the live sessions, and also the amazing keynote that was done by students with the support of Chris Fernland. Uh, thanks so much, Lena. It's been really invaluable to have three hosts or co-hosts working with us this year on the event, including TU Delft. So Willem and Bea, um, Thanks so much for all of the input you provided into the program, into the planning, and then to, into actually supporting the live uh, activities taking place in your time zone and, and having all the students support uh, the tech side of things. It's been just great. Um, and I, I, it goes without saying that this is like a mammoth task organizing a conference and and Dave and Katsu did an incredible job as program chairs. Uh, this is no small task to organize a large program such as what we had for this year's conference. And we met regularly for months. And for Dave and Katsu, it was always really late at night. So <laughs> it's still late at night or getting late at night for them. So thanks so much, Dave and Katsu, for the incredible work that you did uh, helping plan the program and then coordinate and communicate with all of those who are who were part of the program this year. Really big undertaking and uh, you did an awesome job. And then it goes without saying that the, the whole staff of OE Global really picked up the ball this year as we had to change the conference plan completely from being an in-person event to an online event. Igor really is the person who leads the whole conference planning activity and as always did a great job, but really the whole team, uh, Marcella, Una, Susan, Yuri I just did an incredible job of the tech uh, side of things, especially, well, lots of different parts, but I really feel like the contribution, you're right, to uh, the, the scheduling part of what took place in OEG Connect and all of the support for the tech side of things is just great. Susan did an awesome job of communicating. Mario, great job on the, on the design. Um, and Karen for finance and Liz uh, also did a, a really fantastic work on the Zoom side of things. So thank you, you guys. Christina and Alan also really fantastic. Alan, especially for designing OEG Connect. Uh, that was a pivotal piece for our online experience this year. And, something a bit experimental I feel and and as usual Alan imbued it with his um, such friendly character and caring character and I really feel like people experienced that and uh, and felt welcome. Uh, I think the kindness and care that was expressed at this year's conference was really touching and moving and people could feel it. And we also had a, a huge number of for us a lots of sponsors this year and so it's always great to have sponsors. And I really feel like uh, including the sponsors in the program and giving them an opportunity to speak this year in a really in, you know, a substantive way was, it really worked out. There was a lot of interest in the sponsor sessions. Um, and, uh, and I found it fascinating to hear what everybody's working on in terms of services and products and, and things for the open education space. Uh, just quickly, here's some rough numbers of what took place at the conference this year. We had about well, a little over 730 registrants from across 43 countries, 277 presenters from 36 countries. So we really do 
end up having very nice kind of global coverage and global, global uh, representation of what's taking place around the world in open education. I'm delighted to have 60 students participate this year. It feels to me like the student presence uh, in open education global activities is increasing. And interestingly, from my perspective too, is like 75% of the people uh, were first time attendees. And it feels to me like doing this conference in an online fashion enabled a lot more people to participate who perhaps wouldn't have been able to if we had done it in person. Uh, there were 183 sessions over the four days, so not including um, this past day, there were already 43,500 page views inside OEG Connect. So the activity taking place there uh, is really significant, both from people who were registered to participate in the conference and uh, you may not have realized it, but the whole conference was visible to people who hadn't registered, they just couldn't um, post a reply. They couldn't actively uh, uh, engage their voice in what was taking place, but they could see what was taking place. And so there was both internal activity within OEG Connect and also uh, from the outside. Uh, lots of uh, sessions, all of the sessions that were live and synchronous were recorded. So we have over 55 hours of uh, videos that uh, are on a huge array of open education topics. I was sharing with uh, my colleagues earlier that I've heard a few people talking about doing what they're calling almost like a film fest or a view fest where uh, they agree to meet as a group, uh, spend a couple of hours uh, each individually looking at uh, whatever session recordings they're interested in and then convening in like a Zoom room to talk about what they saw, what they watched, what they learned. And I love that idea of actually making use of what took place in the conference after the conference is actually over and kind of mining the rich resources that were produced during the conference for further uh, meaning and understanding. Uh, from our side, about over 9,000 emails sent over the last 30 days as we tried to get everyone, as we tried to get everyone into the, uh, into the platform and organized for their session. And during the week, uh, well over 1,300 tweets. Um, I, I want to make this last point at the bottom, this note, I want to emphasize this note because this I feel is something significantly different about this year's conference. And that is that the OEG Global Connect space is not going away. It persists in all of the resources, all of the recordings, and even the conversations, the dialogue and the opportunity for discussion will continue after the conference. We hope actually that the sessions that took place during the conference can serve as building blocks for, for ongoing discussion. And we're going to open up all of OE Global Connect to everyone, uh, sort of take down the velvet ropes as Alan was describing it, so that anyone can come into open, uh, to the Open Education Global Connect space and participate, not only around the sessions that took place during the conference, but create new topics if they wish, and, uh, and engage people in further collaboration. We feel like this is a really exciting notion that the conference doesn't end, it persists and the opportunity for ongoing connection uh, um, is, is there for anyone who wishes to engage in that over the coming months. So uh, we hope people will take advantage of that. I also wanna highlight that uh, there, while there's a lot of focus on the formal program and the sessions, which was incredibly rich, uh, there was a lot of effort put into trying to create some fun activities for people to where we could get to know each other and learn a little bit about the different cultures around the world, whether it be through recipes or through postcards, or even just people sharing pictures of their pets, which proved to be a hugely popular uh, topic in the OEG Connect space. And I just loved the uh, the collegiality of all of that, uh, as people kind of enjoyed seeing their pets and, and sharing a little bit of their life from everywhere around the world. Um, I think this is a wonderful thing. This is work uh, that Alan led in particular, so thank you, Alan. I think that it really infuses the conference with this kind of personal uh, touch that is so enriching, and uh, I love that aspect of it. 
Uh, there will be a survey uh, coming out in the next few days. So Susan's gonna release that soon. So uh, that'll come out as an email. Uh, we really do, this year was a bit of an experimental approach, of course, to the conference. So we're really eager to get people's feedback on what they liked and what they didn't like. So there, there will be a survey that comes out to everyone uh, by email. So watch for that in your inbox. And I know sometimes it can be like, oh, I really don't wanna fill up this survey, but we really would love to hear your feedback this year. It'd be super valuable because of course, we're thinking now about next year, and what we might what we might do next year, what will our approach be? What have we learned from this year? And how might it affect what we do next year? And with that, let me say that next year's conference uh, is being hosted at the University of Nantes, uh, which is so fantastic. Thank you uh, to the University of Nantes team for, for being interested in this and for stepping forward. It will take place on the 5th to the 7th of October. And with that, I'm gonna stop sharing and turn uh, the mic and sharing screen over to Colin, who is here with us today uh, to share a little bit more about what the thinking is for next year's conference. And I'll just say that uh, you can see at the very bottom of this slide that in the OEG Connect space, there's a section uh, uh, in the announcements area about the hosting of the conference next year by University of Nott, where, uh, where more information is available and where we'll continue to kind of provide additional information. But let me stop sharing and turn it over to you, Colin. Right, this should be working. Can you yes. see my screen? Okay. So, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I think I've never said th all three at the same time <laughs> and been quite appropriate in saying the same thing. Bon, so I'm Colin Laguerre. I'm from Université de Nantes and I'm very, very pleased to, uh, to say a few words here. I should say that, oh dear, my, I would, I'd like the video to work better. So anyhow, the video is the same video that is on the website. So if it doesn't work that well, you will be able to see it um, wh when you want. So the um, so I'm very pleased to be here, even if when I'm in a conference and there's the talk about next year's conference, I always feel it's it's sort of unreasonable that they're already talking about the next one when we're just enjoying the one we're in. I think it's even sometimes a bit unfair towards the people who have organised it. So um, so yes, I, I'd like to join you all in, in saying bravo to the organisers. They must have had a, a tremendously difficult job. And when I look at the quantity of, of exchanges of information, of talks of this of that and the other I'm actually quite petrified about um, about uh, about organizing the next event can I can I have it back no um, so uh, as it was said Nantes is in uh, France France uh, has never hosted open education uh, global or open education uh, um, consortium or what, the way it was called before so uh, so it's quite it's quite something it's quite something where we're very happy about and so it's going to be quite important also for us in France to move forward the agenda as you may know there was even a satellite event um, last week where a number of people in France started getting a little bit more interested than they used to be in the topic. So that doesn't mean that this is an event for France. This is a global event and we're taking very seriously the, I think, what did you say? 43 different countries represented in between the participants. And we'll do everything we can to be able to have you there. You can see on the images that Nantes is a French city worth visiting with well, a lot of the things that you would expect to find in France, some nice food, some um, nice places to go and visit. Um, the town is, uh, is well organized. You can nearly get everywhere a walking distance from the hotel to the sites, to the conference hall, to the restaurants. So um, that's going to be easy. Plus the town hall is offering all the participants a voucher to just uh, travel freely around town during the days of the conference. So that's going to be nice. Um, the conference is going to be uh, co-chaired by my colleague, uh, Madame Karine Bernot, who is not with me today because she's a very busy lady. She is the president or the chancellor of the university. So that's important. It means that through her, we're going to be able to, again, push the agenda forward in, uh, in France. And I think that's, uh, that matters a lot. Uh, what are we going to be wanting to do? We're certainly going to be wanting to take example from what happened this year. And uh, even if we do hope we can have everybody in not, 
we actually also have noticed that um, a lot of things can happen online. And I even wrote a read in the um, in the chat a few minutes ago, somebody saying, ooh, great that it was online because I'm not sure I would be able to afford to travel. So for all these people, we want to go for something we could call an augmented conference. So one where we would have a lot of things happening in uh, this place that you are seeing images of here, which is the, the set of auditoriums and the Cité des Congrès. But we would also be live streaming and, uh, and sharing online in direct uh, what is happening. There's a lot of infrastructure to have, but I've noticed that Open Education Global has got a number of people there extremely competent. So we will all work together for this to work out. Um, what are we going to try and sort of support as main choices? One which is important to me is multilingualism. So um, France is a French speaking country and it's always a very big issue, the business of the francophonie. Do not worry, the conference will not be in French. I mean, there will be some words said in French. You always have to have that in the country that is receiving you. But we would be trying to push uh, multilingualism. It is very important that uh, people can learn in all the languages. I'm working a lot in artificial intelligence and uh, OER, and I find that there are more and more uh, dominant resources in just one language. So we must be able to find ways for all the OER of all the languages to, to sort of be uh, as visible as possible. So the second big issue is the one of the augmented conference. So I've said this, we're going to try and sort of handle the two things at the same time. And the third big value I would like to promote, but I know it's already been promoted this time, is the dynamic coalition. I worked hard as an OER chair to um, help get the OER recommendation adopted last year by UNESCO. And now it's essential that it gets adopted by the different countries. So that I believe is the big goal we want to have apart from the fact of teaching and sharing our resources. And so those are uh, the elements we will want to be pushing and seeing what can we do in my case for this to be adopted in France, but also to help every one of you get the recommendation adopted in your own country. So voila, that is all I had to say. I just look really forward to seeing all of you. I mean, I heard that there were 75% of newcomers, but I looked who was present now and I recognize most of the names. So I feel, um, I feel that I've been cheated out of there, the 75%. So, uh, well, that's it. I'll see you next year in NART and thanks for listening. Thank you, Colin. And yeah, if you stop your screen share, I would just like to um, open the floor to invite our co-hosts and host to say a few words as part of the closing. So. Uh, perhaps uh, Marianne and Dave might want to make a few remarks and then we'll move to, uh, to Lena and then to Bea and Willem. Marianne, Dave. Okay. Uh, thank you for everyone uh, participating in this uh, conference, especially uh, our co-host, Leo Delph, Willem and B, and uh, then the Lena from the e e Ontario yeah. So yeah, we we can we cannot do it without you <laughs> because uh, yeah, for our uh, uh program that's uh, there are so many programs and it's running almost twenty four hours a day. Almost. <laughs> yeah, it's like twenty two hours a day. <laughs> so it's almost twenty four hours a day. So that's really amazing. And also thank you all the uh OEG staff. You are wonderful. Yeah. You get it. you have so many support on this event. Thank you very much. And I'm glad that we can host this event yeah. uh, virtually. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah, it's pity that you cannot come to Taipei. Yeah, but uh, maybe next uh, sometime in the future. Thank you very much. Love that. Dave, do you want to make a few remarks? Yeah. Uh, thank you. First, Marianne Wan. Give me such a good job <laughs> for the whole year. <laughs> this is my first time. <laughs> I forgot See? to mention you. Yeah, you are very important. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> but without Kazu and Igor, also Paul, give me a good recommendation, then I can make the whole 
program successfully. Thank you. And I learned a lot from you. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you, Terry. Yeah. Lena? Thanks, Paul. It's just so nice to be here with you all to, to close out what was a really just such a dynamic week. Um, so many, so many new faces, so many, so many people who are core to the community coming together. And I think, you know, what became so clear to all of us is that we were really reinvigorated in the importance of the work, um, the importance of the work for this particular time and place that we are, we are living in um, across the whole world. And there's just something so special about an international conference that's focused share. So it was just been such a pleasure to be involved. The OEG team is just always, um, what a high functioning group of individuals. Wow, <laughs> just incredible. And then, you know, Bea and Willem, um, Dave and Marion, you know, the co-hosting with you has been just such a joy. I'm so, so glad that Ontario, any campus Ontario was able to contribute. So Colin, I really look forward to showing up in France next year and, um, and enjoying some of that delicious coffee featured in your video. <laughs> really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. So let's keep up the good work in OEG Connect in the meantime. And um, thank you, Alan, for creating that space. I think it's going to live um, and, and have just so much energy behind it um, for, for many months to come. It'll get us through you know, the next, the next stage that before we get reinvigorated um, in nonce once again. Thanks, Lena. Um, Philem or Bea and Bea? Um, for me, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, there's one thing I can say, Colin, is don't worry about anything because these guys got your back. Whatever happens, these guys are here and they never let you go, they never let you fall. And that's that's what makes it so fantastic. Um, and the other thing for me is what I was saying earlier to Paul. It's like, um, I know we are online and I know we are missing the, the, the beers and the hugs and all that, but it's never been easier to actually catch somebody because you know where they are all the time. You just have to go to their page and now we connect and leave a message in there. So that's for me something that we we should not uh, leave behind us as we move forward, you know, because some of the times you say, hey, I'll catch you later, and then you never catch them later because you can't find them again. But on this occasion, they were in OEG Connect. So, you know, that's good. <laughs> Nowhere to find them. <laughs> Thanks so much, Bea. Willem? Yes, uh, so, so I think Bea said most things uh, as a co-host, but I also want to say as president of the board that uh, I think it was it was an amazing experience uh, that we've had here. And we first were planning all on going to Taiwan, but, uh, and I still like to go and visit you, uh, Marianne. <laughs> uh, but I think we've set a an, an really great uh, conference here and, and really organized a conference that is truly delivering to our motto of, of really openness uh, with so many new participants, uh, really the, the Connect platform that opens up, publishing the videos uh, so shortly after they're, they're done and uh, all on YouTube available for anyone to, to look at. And I think that's, uh, that, that, that's really a, a strong message that we're delivering. And that's also something that I would like to see that we can continue in the future. So uh, that will be an interesting discussion of how we are gonna organize that. So thank you all. Uh, thanks to all the staff and all the people that are involved. I know how much work it is as a to organize a conference. And, <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, and, uh, and and please take the weekend off. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, thanks, Philip. Um, last group to uh, have any opportunity to um, say a few words is just the OEG staff. If any of you would like to make some remarks, please do so now. I don't feel like you have to, but I would like to include you in this closing and hear anything that you'd like to say. Maybe we could start with Igor. Thank you, Paul. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to keep it short. I think, you know, this is a wonderful event. Thank you. It was when we were kind of communicating on Sunday, I said that, you know, 
after like a year of strategizing and planning and then all of a sudden uncertainty as a result of, of COVID, we had to replan and re-strategize and, and basically transition to a completely online format. And what really came out of this process has been quite remarkable. And the collaboration with our co-hosts and hosts and, and, and just how everything really worked out throughout the week, like kudos to the entire team, really well done. Thank you for everything that you have been doing along the way. And thank you to all of your attendees uh, that have been, uh, who have been actively participating in the sessions in OEG Connect. And so it has been a wonderful experience and really looking forward to the next year's conference. So thank you all. Thanks, Igor. Um, Alan, would you like to say something? Oh, uh, everybody said it all. Just uh, thanks to the team. <laughs> thanks to everybody. Um, I had high expectations and this certainly exceeded everything on, on all levels. So um, onward wow. to next year. <laughs> okay. Yorai, Susan, Marcella, Christina, Mario. I just wanna say it was definitely a group event. I know we have a, a fantastic team that works together extremely well, but this was definitely a community event. Couldn't have done it without anybody in this room and we just had so much support. It's just, it's just amazing to me. Um, lived up, uh, exceeded my expectations as well. And uh, Colin, we look forward to hopefully seeing you next year. <laughs> You're right. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you did so much work. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we, for me, my side, I think we all learned a lot and it kind of, like doing this two years ago would be unthinkable, but now it's like a new standard and it's like at least show that it's possible. And I'm super excited about what the future brings for you know, all of our open conferences. Oh, great, excellent. Marcella, Christina, Mario. <laughs> I added Anyone mine else? to the chat, but I just okay. want to say a huge thank you to the team. Uh, this was a great project to jump into as a new employee and a new member of the team. <laughs> yeah. um, and a huge thank you to our, our co-hosts as well. Um, and wear a mask and stay safe because I need hugs and I want hugs <laughs> next year. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me too. I was typing my thank you. Um, thank you all. It's it's amazing to be part of this team and now with the co-hosts and seeing how everything is coordinating. It's it's just a pleasure to work uh, with all this fascinating group and the presenters as well and seeing people coming and going and doing the multilingual thing, Colin. Muchas gracias a todos. Veo a muchos que hablan español por aquí. And so, yeah, just a big, big thank you. I feel energized and full of love and joy to keep on going. <laughs> Anyone else uh, want to make some remarks? We have, uh, of course, some of the presenters and others who participated last call. If you'd like to say something, you're welcome to. You can just grab the mic. We have Leo here. They have also just recently, well, a couple of hours ago, joined, uh, launched new guidelines. So cheers right. to that, Leo and the team. Please feel free to... <laughs> was that a beer? <laughs> yes, it is. It's five o'clock here. <laughs> Sadly, I've only got a coffee here. <laughs> You've got the, the paradise beach, it looks like. Uh, at, at least beautiful surroundings. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks everyone so much. Um, let's just bring this closing to a close. Uh, I'll say uh, while we're closing this year's conference, of course, we're, we're looking forward to the coming year and to continuing to engage with all of you in this work. And, um, and I love uh, Marcelo's comments about the joy and the experience of kind of uh, the, the co collegiality and the camaraderie amongst all of us that are part of this community. I think it's a fantastic uh, um, global community and we're delighted to be part of it. So see you next week, for, see you Monday for most of my team. Um, and then uh, for many of you, I do hope to be seeing you in person, hugs and uh, sessions over dinner and wine and cheese in Nantes. Sounds like a must. 
until then, bye everyone. Thank you so much for this year's conference. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>